Hey everyone, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I'm trying to remember exactly where we left off last time. I know I had recovered Poseidon from Las Vegas. We had repowered up Las Vegas, which was cool. And I think I was off doing some, like, side mission-y stuff. Oh, that's right. I was doing the, the sunken, sunken caverns. Now it's all coming back to me. So yeah, I think there was two left that they were gonna do, or that we were gonna do. We we did the one in No Man's Land, or the last one in No Man's Land, I should say. And then we had this one over here, and then I think there was another, yeah, one up here in the gouge. So yeah, I guess we'll just start with this. And that's interesting. What did I miss over there? Huh, I'm curious about that, because that's kind of, huh, kind of just off there on its own. I don't know how or why I missed that, and I also missed this. I'm trying to remember what area this is. Wait, this is the, isn't this the, that village that got, uh, like, buried under the landslide or whatever? Yeah, yeah, because that's the crane right there. Weird, I don't know why it says unknown settlement. I've been there. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's go do this. Oh. Oh, okay. The heck was that all about? <laughs> Wait, did they just take down a Thunderjaw? They did. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, I got some hardcore uh, rebel soldiers over there. They rebuilt it. Eh, I guess that makes sense, but I've still been there. It's not like it's unknown. All right, so this one was confusing last time. It seemed to just dead end. Is it the same deal this time? Because I remember I tried to like swim underneath. Oh, maybe I can break through here. No? Yeah, this confused me last time. There's like nothing here. What the heck? What am I missing here? Because I couldn't figure it out last time either. Am I able to climb these things? No. Alright, we could try going the other way. Wait. Okay, so there is another passage I'm not seeing, which appears to be like... Over here? What? So it's, yeah, it's this way. What the heck? It seems to be through here. Or no, actually it's through here. Okay, yeah, it's like this way. But there's nothing here. Maybe I'll try to go the other way. Well, let me see what happens when I go the other route. So let's see. Four up. We're going to go to the gouge and come in this way, I suppose. Oh, it won't let me fast travel, though. Yeah, because I don't think I can do anything from this direction. Now will it let me fast travel? No. What the heck? I well, I guess we're going around. And I have a mount. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on with this one yet. And while I'm over here, I'll go revisit the settlement, see what's changed. 
go on the side, can I? No, is that noise? Mount cannot enter this location. Okay. Oh, search the barrel. I'll take that. Alright, what you guys been up to at the settlement over here? Huh? They have rebuilt quite a bit. Bleeding mark. Regalas is trustworthy as a slither fang. Less, actually. Regala thought she could make the grove hers. I thank you for stopping her. Outlander. Alright, refill up the stash. Oh, is that one we had before? Mercury Rising, I feel like we did have that. Yeah, I think we did. Outlander. We got a hunter here, purge water, hunter bow, and heart shatter spike thrower, and we're gonna pass on those. Are you in need of supplies? You may pass, Still searching for survivors. Your actions at the Cold Root will help unite the Tanakh. You will learn about honor here in the Tanakh lands, Outlander. I'd seen small mudslides, but this? If honor only my blade Regala honor came here Regala. with rage. You showed her strength. Move on now, Outlander. All right, so we got a potion dealer. What else we got around here? I'll take this. Oh. So I think that's another data point we had. Report of criminal activity. Did we have this? I don't know if we had this. Text mail from... Eco Anon CAC data corruption is minimal from Eco Anon CAC to DCE report slash complaint. Subject Mercury mining scam. We have an on site undercover operative at a defunct Cinnabar mine in western Nevada. This operative has intercepted communications regarding a conspiracy to illegally reopen the mine, defraud the DCE, and expose local wildlife to toxic levels of mercury vapor. Data attached. We will give the DCE two weeks to investigate, after which we forward this information to all available Hollow News outlets. Okay, I do actually remember that. So we read it again. And he'll sell us some stuff. I don't think there's really... Anything too amazing here? All right, but we got it on our map. Perfect. All right, so I'm still curious about this sunken cavern. Let's try it from this side, see what happens. Ow. I have to go in to where I rescued that dude and then enter the cavern from down here. It appears to be the case. Yeah, over there. Shield wings holding up. Here we go, we found it. Perfect. Let me make sure I didn't leave anything over here first. Looks 
good. Alright, so what we got in here? Oh god, getting pushed. Put us out here. I feel like that little mini map we had was misleading. Because this is much bigger than it appeared. Flooded it when I opened the, the the rock wall, I guess. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. So it was a to be underwater cavern. Yeah, because this is where I couldn't get up before. That came from that way. Okay, so I know what's going on now. It's all come together. It's kind of nifty. I wonder if that redrained the place where I saved the dude. I guess I said I saved him, but he died at the top anyway. <laughs> so, not exactly saved. Pulled him out. What's that? I should try using something other than shock ammo. Oh. Well, that could be a problem. We got some machine down here. First piece of green shine. I like these underwater caverns. Once again, I just wish it would have given me the underwater apparatus a little sooner. Oh crap! Oh no! Where's my stealth bomb? Smoke bomb! Alright, I'm hiding over here. I should probably make another. Can I make him underwater? I can. I will make. Two more of these. Hmm. Where's this other green shine at? Let's try this way. This is uh, quite vast down here. Okay, that still didn't complete it. There's more. But wait, there's more. Wait, is this... This is the way I initially could have gone. Yeah, yeah, this was the big opening. Okay, so I missed another down here somehow. There seems to be only one machine, so that helps. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh. Got two of them. Three? What the heck? Oh man, I am slacking. Crap. Ooh, lucky. There we go. Lucky, lucky, lucky. All right, I hear some green shine. Is it up here? Where's it at? I know it's around here. Oh, there it is. All right, there's two more. Where? Oh, that's funny. This is where I came to hide last time. Oh, wait. Right over here? I hear the machine. I don't see him. Oh, a cluster. Nice. Where's that freaking machine at? Oh, he's over there. Oh, crap. He's coming this way. He's coming this way. Go, 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 go. Okay. All right, where was that last one at? Oh, it's still in here? Okay, we found the last one. Now to get it. It's right over there. Right, so what's he up to? He's coming... Oh, is he going to go down there? Perfect. Perfect. That's what we want to see. And I got this. That should be everything. And it is sunken, sunken cavern complete. Hey, Chris, of course you can ask a question. What's on your mind? And also, welcome to your first stream, Joe. Good to have you. Uh, okay, so I should be able to fast travel out of here. We have one more sunken cavern to complete, and that one is over here. Which is weird. There's a question mark on top of the known shelter. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, I remember that. That's... Yeah, okay. So we'll go here and figure out what that freaking question mark is. Oh, it's Vegas. It's like, what's that weird thing in the distance? Alright, so what is the question? Oh, I guess it's revealed now. It's just a, my stash. Weird, I don't know how how it wasn't revealed before, but it is now. Did I do a playthrough of Horizon Frozen Wilds? I did. I did indeed. <laughs> Uh, some people, you're not the first one that apparently has had trouble finding it. I can't remember, but it might have been on the harder difficulty. So I actually have two playlists for Horizon. One for, I think it was very hard, and the other for Ultimate once they unlocked that. So I think it might be in the other playlist, is, which is why some people can't find it. And some equipment around that pool. Were they mining for green shine underwater? But I honestly can't remember. No wounds. I think he drowned. What was he doing in the pool? Alright. Collect all the green, green shine like normal. It's not even that deep. No racing. Looks like he got caught under some debris. Get back to the I don't know who she's talking about. Where's this dead off? Awesome. Awesome. We're trying to scrape up every last piece of it. And now this cavern's a watery grave. I don't see this. I don't see this ostrom awesome she's talking about. What 
Why is this highlighted? Concealing. Oh, it's the. Concealing element. Mature fungus can be struck to release a cloud of spores that may obstruct visual detection. I don't know how I would strike it, though, because I can't fight underwater as far as I know. All right, well, this is complete. I do want to find that Osram that's apparently in here, though. What Osram did she see? Do you guys see an Osram? Because I sure don't. Okay, hold on. Let's see. No, I have no idea. Okay, well, she's got better eyes than I, because I didn't see an awesome down there. I just saw the ribs. Oh, okay. Well, cool. You saw it. I didn't see it. Okay, so that's all of the sunken caverns. I didn't take uh, as long as I thought it would, to be honest. Uh, so, let's take a look at our quests. Get, um, just uh, remember where we were in terms of our progress. So, obviously, that's our Poseidon quest. We're ready to turn that in. We got some side quests. Oh. Remember a lot of these. We have the errands, salvage contracts. The uh, I don't think we ever went to the rain trace, so that's something we might do soon for the hunting grounds. Melee pits we've done. Or have we done the thorn marsh? No, we did. We did. I think we've done all of these. The arena, rebel camps, rebel outposts. The dry urine we can't do until we can do the flowers. We have another cauldron that we could potentially do, but that's a higher level one. We have another race. And we have two survey drones to turn in. So, I th yeah, I think it's time to go turn in Poseidon. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll travel over here. Actually, we'll go over here. Maybe we can get a rumor lady to distract me. Keep moving. Keep wow. Moving. No rumors. What? Crazy. No more rumors to distract me? I might actually make some progress. How do you get the arena open? Uh, I don't remember how. I think I did a side quest maybe? Or maybe progress the main story a certain amount? Or maybe both? Yeah, that's the stuff. Alright, I haven't been back in a while. Does anybody have new things to say to me? I don't think they do, otherwise they'd have that um, thing over the head. Although, I could play Machine Strike? Aaron, you want to get your butt kicked? I don't think he had a machine strike board before. Oh, hey, you're back. Huh. Let's play strike. I see you've got strike set up. Mind if I have a go at it? Really? Uh, sure. Uh, let's do it. Oh, Aaron, you don't know what you're getting into. He's a beginner. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Aaron. All right, it's a random board, apparently. I still does this crap where I can't use my old sets. That's a really annoying bug. Uh, so what do I usually do? I think it's a Leap Lasher, Long Leg. 
I've been bringing the Bristlebacks, although I'm sort of lukewarm on them. And then I think I go Sky Drifter and Sunwing? Yeah, that'll work. Alright, here we go. Good luck to the both of us. Poor Aaron has no idea what he signed himself up for. I'll put the Leap Lasher in the back. Long leg in the front. Bristle back off to the side. Sky Drifter. Can go up here. And the Sunwing. What should I do? All yours. Alright, I am just gonna put my bristle back up here. See if anyone wants to go mess with them. And I'll put the sun wing up here. Oh, I can't get him over there. Well, in that case, let's just put my sky drifter up here. My turn. <laughs> Ask me how I feel about the arena. Oh, I love the arena. It's the best. Uh, you know what I think I'll do here? If I can move him that far, I could sprint my bristle back over there. But, you know what? I won't do that. I'm just going to leave him there. We'll bring my sky drifter up here. And move the long leg over with him. Pointed that way. Let's see. You're gonna have to engage at some point, Aaron. You're gonna have to engage eventually. Let's okay. see what you're a bit you strategic got. about it, though. Although, he just left himself wide open for this attack. That was not smart. Can I... What if I hit him from here? Ah, uh, same. What if I was to use the bristle back? Hmm. Actually, what's the attack range on this dude again? It's three. So if I was to push him that way, I could finish him off. But I think I can just... Let's just get rid of this dude. Oh, uh, you went straight for that weak spot, huh? Oh, I actually shouldn't have done that because now... Oh, actually, no, this will be fine. I'll just move him down. And his aura will finish him off. Time to make a move. Probably just made a bad error because he's it's probably going to move to the top of that mountain, but... Apparently he's not going to do that. Up. Oh, poor Aaron. He doesn't even know how to play. I'm just beating up on him. Alright, well, I got rid of that piece. Off the board they go. And then the Sky Drifter. We could go there. But... Alternatively, we can just sprint our bristle back over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him there. End the okay. turn. Okay, I could do this. I did one damage to him, but he shouldn't be able to do much. Yeah, he's not even attacking. I'm done. Seriously, somebody needs to tell Aaron how to play, because he clearly doesn't know. Aloy's just gonna trounce him. All right, well, we'll get rid of that piece. You're always two steps ahead, aren't you? And that piece is gone. All right, flawless you victory. Won fair and square. Guess I have to step up my game. Poor Aaron, I feel bad now. Back to business then. <laughs> he didn't even care. All right, good. He doesn't feel bad then. I gotta head out. Good luck. It still shows as available, which is weird. It should show completed. Maybe he gets more 
more boards later? I don't know. Let's check in with people. Someone's been out in the wilds for a while. Oh, well. I've gotta go. Don't burn the place down. I guess we'll just see if anybody I has no promises for Aaron though. We'll see if anybody has anything new to say. Catalo, maybe Beta. Where's Catalo hanging out again? I forget. He's got that new room or whatever. Alright, and what's the override situation? I might need to start a new tracker. So let's see. We have... Oh! Oh, I can just get the Ravager override. Well, wow. heck yeah. Okay. I guess I just never came back here to get it. Boom. Ravager override is mine. Uh, Sky Drifter as well, definitely. And the one I really want, the Snap Maw. Getting that. So, we need a Bellaback Primary Nerve. That should be easy. And... We need a rollerback hammer tail and a rollerback primary nerve, and then we can get those overrides. That'd be nice. How am I doing tonight? I'm doing well. I'm excited to not have to, to work tomorrow. Although I've been working all day, but but I'm starting to catch up. Maybe I can actually enjoy some days off soon. Alright, seriously, where... Is Catalo's spot again? Oh, good. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. The... Oh, there he is. Alright, anything new to say, Catalo? Apparently not. What about Beta downstairs? I feel like I'm never gonna understand the layout, even though it's a very simple layout. It's just nothing that, like, stands out to me. I think this is the one that goes downstairs. Nope, that goes outside. See, I just can't seem to wrap my head around this facility. Okay, this goes down. And then Beta's down here somewhere. Or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Beta's down here. Hello. And Beta has nothing new to say? Hey. Me again. Was there something else? Oh, she does have new things to say. Uh, what have you been up to? So have you been able to make use of your expertise? I guess so. Gaia transferred a lot of data on Hephaestus to study. And? Any insights? It looks like it's been modifying its code, increasing in size and complexity over the years. There's a lot to analyze still. Okay, well, keep at it, I guess. Getting along with everyone? So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Getting along with everyone? I'm gonna be a broken record. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asks me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you. After all. Yeah. I guess so. Talk to you later. I'll be going. Okay. Bye. Still not a big fan of Beta, but... She's starting to get some, uh... She's starting to warm up to us a little bit. Uh, so she didn't actually show us having new things to say, so maybe I will go see if Catalo wants to talk. If I could freaking find him again. Is he in here? Ah, there he is. 
I'm learning. Performed any more miracles? If staying alive counts. Mm, nope. Okay, let's go turn go. up beside him then. I have training to get back to. Training? Oh, right. Training to learn the focus. I'm like, you're not. You're not training? What are you talking about? Okay. Gaia, I have Poseidon. I done did it. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Ooh. Got it. Nice. Wonder what's new. Let's talk to Gaia while I'm here. Hey, Gaia. Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume? Our progress. Actually, questions about subordinate functions. Uh, how's it going with Poseidon? Were you able to make use of Poseidon? Yes. Many rivers, streams, and lakes associated with the regional watershed have been detoxified. As a result, red algae growth levels have seen a marked decline. According to my data, however, it appears a localized occurrence of red algae continues to persist near the coast. Maybe I'll look into it when I can. Uh, Poseidon again. So, Poseidon spent the last 20 years hiding out in Las Vegas. From the data I found, it seems the city had an advanced water reclamation system. Is that why Poseidon went there? Most likely. In an effort to protect itself, Poseidon sought out a safe harbor where it could access water supply functions. There, buried and encased in a protective dome, it could guard against any threats. Like three Osirum showmen? I suspect that was not the first time it felt the need to repel trespassers. Our progress. Companions. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene to allow him to process this on his own terms. Uh, about the old world. Old world discoveries. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city. Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths, at their core, have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just... waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. Alright, time to go. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. I have survey drone modules. There. Let's see what we got. 
Right, I think this is the new one. One of the new ones. Good choice. Hey, not bad. I like it. I don't like that it doesn't stay though. It's just temporary while you're in there. So that part's kind of lame. Okay, new rooms apparently. Maybe that door that I just looked at is finally open. Do my companions have anything new to say? It appears not. Alright, so where was that one door? This one? Wait, no, I've been in here before. Isn't this my quarters? Maybe. Or no, mine is slightly different, I think. What's this? Utaru figure. Bundles of woven leaves shaped to resemble plow hoeing collected by Zell. Oh, that's right. So this is Zoe's room. And then this one... Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Interesting. What's this? It's a shuttle. Like the one I blew up at Farzina's launch facility. Farl seemed pretty interested in space travel. I guess he wanted a keepsake. Far Zenith Shuttle, a holographic replica of a Far Zenith Shuttle collected by Varl. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do in here, though. Tallow's room. We've been in there before. The door's unlocked now. Yeah, what's this place? There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, what was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. Two caterpillars and chrysalises, I guess. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around every morning. August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. According to this console, there are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. Huh. What if we could start planting seeds throughout the world? That seems like something Zoe would be interested in. I guess that's it. Okay. So, um, potentially some cool things in this room. That's my room. And that's the exit. Okay, so I think that might be the only new room that opened up. Let's go see what Varro and Beta are up to. And I then maybe that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Oh, huh? what's this? The 
Looks like some kind of maintenance space. We got shinies. Oh, what's this? I saw something there. Oh, it's that. Whatever that is. Power up this door. I gotta be careful with these power cells. We know what happened early in the game. Alright, so power cell goes there. I guess that's it. Alright, let's go get one of them, bring him down. Recognize this area. Uh, oh, am I just slightly down from? Yeah. Okay. So I just opened that up, and then was this side passage here before? Because I don't remember this. Oh, this might actually lead back to the. This might lead back to the um, to the cauldron. Yeah, I think it does. If I remember correctly. Okay, we'll we'll figure out what that powered on in just a bit. Let's continue our story. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac! Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, with studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me. In a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you?
Tilda. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. Interesting. If we could get a Zenith on our team, that'd be amazing. Data channel. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. The house. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. Paintings and files? You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. They didn't interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. She cut you off? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you trained you you must miss him a lot of course i do 
But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Aloy getting frustrated. If she hadn't been so snappy, though, Beta might have opened up more. She was starting to. Hey, Press Alpha, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. I didn't see you sneak in. Glad to have you. Okay, so... Let's see. I don't know where my main quest is taking me now. I guess I just go back upstairs, but I powered up some stuff, apparently. And my companions have new things to talk about. Oh, I think it just defaulted to my next main quest. It did. It did. Uh, what's going on in my notebook? A new data point. The Lumiere Grand Incident? Oh, okay. That was... What the heck? I don't remember this. I'll just play this anyway. Maybe I heard it before. The primer note shut down now. I think the last time I was down here was during the Lumia Grand incident. A malfunction led to an overflow of detergent in the pipes. Suds rose from every fountain. As we frantically tried to fix it, I looked up and saw everyone in the lobby chasing bubbles the size of basketballs. Young and old alike. Another magical moment in the impossible city. I don't know if I heard that before. I feel like I would have remembered soap bubbles coming out of the fountains, but who knows. Alright. So, what? I know. That makes you want to punch something. More like someone. But you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. Well, I don't know what powered up. Maybe we just got more lights. I don't know. I don't know. Aloy, uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down at that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? You're training. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms, like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. Your training. It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful when I can make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. <laughs> I love how offended he was. Uh, companions. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. Companions. I see someone's been playing strike. I'm just trying to get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. You should try playing Catalo. It's a Tanakh game. Maybe you'll learn something. Uh, sure, Tanakh. I'm sure he won't try and kill me if I win? Pretty sure. Companions. Do I smell ale? Yeah, I brought some over from Chain Scrape. Hey, with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my 
sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. Farewell. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. You be careful out there. What's up, Val? Hey, got a sec? Of course. Companions. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. You're training. I was training. Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. The Zeniths. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zeniths. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long, it doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding. Any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. The Zeniths. What do you make of this Tilda that Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. Rost. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now, I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The sacred lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the proving, it hurts, and I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. Farewell. I should get back out there. We'll be here if you need us. All right, what about Zoe? Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. Companions. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. 
Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. Companions. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. Your training. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them, even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo, that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. Your training. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from. Like you've done here, for us. Maybe one day, more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. The Zeniths. The Zeniths did a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. Farewell. I should get going. Good luck on your search. Okay, so what's Catalo up to if I could freaking find his place again? <laughs> Is it back here? Nope, not there. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. Oh, which holograms? In here? The old ones cut off livestock a little too much for my liking. Some of them ate more like the Utaru, called themselves vegetarians. From what I'm reading, all the old ones wanted to eat was this stuff called chocolate. Alright, so was it in here? I seem to have turned these on, maybe? But still nothing new, I guess? Oh, maybe it's talking about this? Maybe that. So the old ones like All right, well, anyways, Catalo is over here. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. Companions. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Companions. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as self-brush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. Your training. Must be strange. 
Seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. You're training. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations and an acceptable training facility. But we could use some more color. Do be noted. <laughs> a man of little words. Farewell. I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. Thank you. Oh, you think uh, I powered up stuff in the basement? Well, Varl, or not Varl, uh, Aaron had said I powered up stuff in here. I wonder if I got the seed thing working. No, that doesn't seem to be working. I think more lights just came on in general. Although the seed thing did say I need to talk to, to Gaia. So let's go talk to Gaia. Let's see, was it this way? Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a drink, but it's soft. How is it soft? It says here it had bubbles in it. Well, we can't expect to make sense out of everything the old ones did. <laughs> He's learning about soft drinks. <laughs> Katala's new calling interior decorator. Welcome back. That would be uh, an interesting change. Hey, Gaia. It's me. Hello, Aloy. Did you wish to continue our discussion? Our progress. Beta. So I talked to Beta. Didn't learn much. It seems to me you did. From what she describes, the Zeniths controlled every aspect of her life even as they shunned her. This Tilda was the first person she ever had contact with. An abrupt severance of such a relationship would be very emotionally damaging. Yeah, I guess you're right. About the old world. This place. I found some data in one of the rooms you unlocked. It mentioned that there are still functional seed banks beneath this facility. Why is it there? My predecessor was tasked with reconstituting the biosphere with primary and secondary plant species. Had everything gone according to plan, humans would have eventually been able to introduce tertiary species, including new crops. Can we access them now? Unfortunately, it will have to wait. I require control over the machines in order to access and distribute the preserved seed stock. And for that we need a Festus. It's something to look into later then. Alright, so seed thing not happening for a while. Questions about the Zeniths. Zenith identities. The Zeniths. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. I think Elizabeth knew one of them. Tilda. Did she ever mention her to you? No. Elizabeth often spoke of her work, or told stories of her mother and her childhood. If she knew this Tilda, she did not disclose it with me. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. All right, time to go. See you later, Gaia. Until next time, Aloy. The thing I am interested about in the basement is that there was an extra power supply. So the question is, where the heck would we put it? We didn't check the lower room, so it is possible that there was a power supply spot. So you like hearing me butcher Utaru music? I sure don't. You sound like a dying long leg. 
<laughs> okay, let's go back down. Maybe we'll talk to Beta again. But yeah, I feel like... I feel like this battery must have a use nearby. Otherwise, why would it be here? I never tried to go this way, did I? No. It doesn't work. Ah, weird. Somebody fixed it. I'll break it again. Yeah, this power cell right here. Why would there be a second one? Hmm. Oh! Wait. Wait a minute. Strange. Or maybe that means it's powered up. I don't know. I guess we never did... I had assumed this was back in the cauldron, but it's been so long, I can't remember. Let me climb up really quick and see if anything looks... Oh, actually, no, this isn't to the cauldron. This is just back upstairs. Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. How do I go down again? There we go. Yeah, never mind. I thought there there is a way to the cauldron, but it's not this way. I think. Because we got to this place through a cauldron. It's you. Hey, I just, uh, wanted to see how you're doing. I'm fine. And look, about earlier, forget it. Was there anything else? Questions about Tilda. Tilda. Wait, is this all the same? What else can you tell me about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. That all seemed the same to me. Check these really quick. You said that Tilda reached out to you yeah, using a see. data channel? It... Oh, I just skipped the whole thing. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. It's weird, it usually has some minor difference, but these seem exactly the same. The house. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked, She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. Yeah, it seems exactly the same to me, but uh, we'll try the last one. Paintings and files. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. 
Eclipse, Shows, Hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the Hot Zone Crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. All right. Nothing new there. Once again, Aloy cutting her off it's while she starts to get go. excited. I'll check on you later. Yeah, sure. Too aggressive, Aloy. It's not gonna work. Got a soft touch. All right, so Why this. Is door locked now. Beta requested the use of that room as her personal space. I have locked it at her request. Okay. Hmm. Door won't open. Guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet. Okay. So there was that one door at the very bottom. I can't remember if we ever managed to get in there or not. And then this way? What's this way? Maybe one of these leads to the cauldron. I can't remember. Ah, crap. Did I just get stuck? No, I'm good. Yeah, so this one leads outside, right? I know. Oh, some sort of cave and I can't even remember. But did we ever go down here? No, we did not. Oh, that's right, we needed some sort of code. We still haven't figured this out. All right, so this is for another day. Or another time, I guess. Well, in that case, I think we're done here at the base. So now we'll decide what we're doing next. All right, so, well, somebody's talking. All kinds of messages back in the day. All over the world too. Anytime they want it. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. I wouldn't want my Aunt Alga knowing she could just talk to me every second of the day. My ears would pop up. Okay. So, take a look at our quests. We have our main quest for Demeter. Uh, I can't remember where that one is. Let's see. That one sends us way west. Holy crap. So, we probably go from there that way so that's a possibility uh do i want to knock out any of these others i don't know maybe we will just do demeter it would give us the flowers although i guess we could do this devil's grasp rebel camp Tanoth rebels have been spotted at the southern edge of the desert what are they doing out there that's true too we could um clear around vegas a little bit more i don't remember what that one is oh that's the roller back so that's certainly a possibility Kind of weird that I didn't go through that little stretch there. Okay, so that one's possibility. This is a bunch of rebel outposts. Pretty high level, though. I broke it somehow. It's all jacked up. Oh, and another possibility is to go <laughs> get frustrated in the arena. I might actually do that. Maybe we'll go, yeah, all right, so that's the plan. We'll go do that rebel camp, and then I'll go to the arena, because I want to keep chipping away at the arena, even though it makes me want to stab myself in the eyeball. So, to the rebel camp, and I'll use the campfire so I get the free fast travel. Did I do the snowy hunting grounds? I don't think so? It doesn't ring any bells. Oh, I'm so cold. <laughs> Don't travel too far west. I, I heard it's forbidden. Hey, there is a rumor person. Well, what do they know? Maybe they'll give me some distractions like they always do. What do you know? I see you, champion. Sit, please. 
What do you know? I hear strange lights have been spotted to the south in the still sands. We abandoned those ruins when the sandstorms and machines became too much to handle. I wonder what's been going on there since then. Quite a mystery. Lofty ambitions. A new site. I don't get too curious about what Marlon's been up to in Vegas. I should check up on those guys when I have the time. Oh, interesting. A quest with Marlon? Lofty. Ooh, I want to do this, actually. Because they're, they're my favorite characters so far. Lofty ambitions. Moreland and crew want to turn the ruins of Las Vegas into a destination of marvels. What have they been up to? Let's go find out. That's definitely what I want to do. They're slightly away from their base. All right, I should do the free fast travel. May as well. Don't want to burn supplies for no reason. Oh, and we have a new side quest there. Interesting. We'll have to go pick that up as well. I didn't know I'd have to be looking out for, for side quests popping up like that. Or maybe I left it before. Oh, there's another new quest there. What the heck is going on? And an unknown. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Rumor has that I just got distracted. Never. I'd never do such a thing. Oh, we have two quests here. Wow, okay. So he set up a little camp outside. Aloy! Oh, your timing couldn't be better. Over here! Aloy! Oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air. Or will be soon. Greatness, huh? Behold. I call it Morland's amazing elevating orb, inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk use for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except... We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design. Old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy. It's perfect for the orb. But a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it? Please? Okay, Moreland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Okay, okay. Head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high. Looming like a nightmare. Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess we're going back down, which is good. Uh, I was told I missed uh, a data log in there, possibly even two. Apparently on the swim to the first uh, console or whatever I interacted with, uh, I missed one. You go out there, you're dead. Be welcome, Elvin. Well, that's on you. I'm telling you, don't throw good shards after bad. She's my sister, not an investment. Tell me where she went. No, I refuse. All right, so apparently they've brought a bunch I of people here. We'll worry about these other quests in a bit. One thing at a time. What's this, though? Okay, just a potion, dude. They're building this place out. Oh, we got a strike player here now. Why is it 
look like I've already done this? What the heck? Who is this? Have I beaten you before? Ah, a challenger. Sit. Play. I'm confused. I have not beaten beaten them, but it looks like I have. Alright, well we'll speaking of distractions. We'll play some machine strike. And as usual. Oh, actually not as usual. My set actually is good to go. You and me. Let's go. Nobody's really managed to beat this set. This set is the the alpha set. It is alpha and omega. It cannot be stopped. I'll bristle back over there. Let's put the sky drifter. And the old sunwing. He can go here. Your move. My move. All right. Uh, well, I'll just throw the bristle back there. And the long leg out in front. My turn. Rude. Oh, he's going to regret that. He's going to regret that because I can go up here and smack him for two. That's it. Huh. Two either way. Strange. All right. Well, he's on a suicide mission, so he's going to go and hit him for two. I'm going to overcharge him. Hit him for five? What? What? Why is that doing so much damage? Weird. Uh, strange. And if I moved up here, okay, no, nothing there. Okay, well, screw it. Lucky That's what I'm talking me. about. Oh, I see. Cause the ram damage as well. Cool. That was amazing. Uh, let's move my sky drifter. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna move my sun wing over here. And flip. Actually, we'll move him here. No. There. Mm, let me think. Alright, so clearly Bristleback's dead, but uh, he that did some work down. in there. Oh, and he just left himself open to be destroyed. Okay, so what we will do here is bring the long leg in and just straight up Kill him, maybe? Weird. Alright, well, that's okay. We'll just go here. Oh, that's a sprint. That's why it won't work. We can do that. And that'll move me up top anyway, which is perfect. That's what I want. So go ahead and do that. That machine's done. And then... Bring the long leg up. Oh, he can't attack from that. It's so dumb. All right, well, that's okay. We have a solution. We'll bring in the Sky Drifter, who can't attack either. Great. Wonderful. All right, well, in that case, I'm just going to move the Leap Lasher there. What should I do? <laughs> He's running away. Smart. I'm done. Smart. He knew. He knew he'd get worked. All right, I will bring the long leg there. Is that smart? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And then uh, the sky drifter over here. How about I do? So now he's got nowhere to run. He's got to engage. Well, he doesn't have to, but he probably should. Oh no, he can still run. Okay. Okay. Let's move. Oh wait. Ah crap screwed that up well just hide the sky drifter back here what to do what to do oh will you look at that I don't know why he did that that was a bad move it was not a smart move I will go over here and oh man I I have forgotten that the long legs have to hit from two units away. That's so strange. Okay, well. Man, I can't really do much with that, can I? I'll move the long leg here. 
We'll move him up, and he can hit him for four. I think that's the best I'm gonna get. My turn. <laughs> he didn't even try to attack. Go ahead. And then he hurt himself. Weird. Strange. All right, finish him off. It will do one damage to me, but that's okay. Victory is yours. Oh, and well earned at that. And there's the win. I wasn't looking at the points. All right, second board. I'm ready. Let's play. Okay. Little blaster there. Long leg there. Bristle bag over here. Sky drifter. And go summon. ahead. I get to start. Move the bristle back up there. Move the sky drifter there. Nothing too crazy. What to do? What to do? Oh, aggressive. Alright, he brought in the bristle back to do some damage. Pretty good move. I'm done. I get some damage out of it, but nothing major. He just straight up killed that piece though, so that was nice. That's kinda how I use and my bristle back. He's been taking pointers from me. Alright, we'll bring the long leg there. Your turn. I'm digging this music. What should I do? I hate, yours. I hate players like this. They just will not engage. It's the worst. Uh, I could sprint him over there and then overcharge to do some damage. It wouldn't be too bad a damage either. But maybe that's a little too aggressive. I'll just put him up here. Well, if I put him there. Let's see him there. You know what? We'll, we'll place him up there. Why not? Let him chill over there and then... We'll just bring the sky drifter over here. How about I do this? All right, what are you gonna do? Yeah, they still won't Throw engage. Me. I hate players like this. It's the worst. All right, fine. That'll straight up kill him. And then I could do two damage there. It's an option. Not a particularly good one. Maybe instead we'll just bring our Sunwing up. My turn. Guess that's going off the board. I hate players like you. Your turn. Alright. What can Bristleback do? One? No. Two, let's see, that piece is worth how much? One. That's not gonna get me there. Well, we don't wanna go too crazy with this one. If I attack from the back. Oh, that's a sprint. All right, well, I'll just do this. So, that's good. Oh, and I have to move him? That's lame. All right, I'll move him here. And then old Bristleback can just chill here. Mm, let me think. All right, well now he's screwed. Easy on me, are you? And we'll slowly descend. What to do? What 
Now what are you gonna do, huh? Oh, you're gonna attack, huh? Go ahead, overcharge. Yeah. Yeah, do it. I'm done. Sky Drifter can do three damage there. We'll kill it. Maybe I send in the long leg instead. Uh, but that does one damage in return. You know what? That's fine. Let's just get that damage in. I could overcharge, but wouldn't that just kill it? Yeah, let's find out. I hey, only have that works. Machine, but I'm still set on winning. And it's gonna overcharge and... Oh, right, it gets to attack twice because of the dumb rules. But that's fine. Because I'm just gonna kill it. Hitting where it hurts, huh? Oh, but if I overcharge, I can't hit him again, can I? I don't know. I, I, well, I'm going to overcharge anyway to get him out of there. But if I run up, can I attack? Doesn't look like it. Nope, so I'm just going to get him out. I don't want to lose like an idiot. Oh, but he can move twice. Maybe he actually can, or she actually can kill me. Oh, actually, hold on. Might not even matter. I might be able to just go over here and then overcharge because they can attack from two. No, that won't work. Oh, I only have three health. I'm going to say back, actually. Yeah, we're just going to chill. I'm just going to chill over here. Now they can't go, go far ahead. enough. But I kind of can't either. <laughs> Match has turned into an interesting How situation. Will she be dumb and get too close? Sure she can me. move two spaces only. So two and two, so I would want to be like here and then here. My turn. All yours. That might have been a critical mistake. Oh, I can't quite get there, but I can overcharge and kill, right? I think so. Oh, but I don't know. I'm not going to risk that because I don't know for sure. So let's see. If I go here, I'll be safe. Oh, crap. I might not actually be safe there. Oh, well. If I'm not, I'm not. We can restart and beat it. Your turn. Oh, that's that's game over. That is game. That's the game, I guess. Congratulations. All right, one more. One more board. Good yeah, hopefully this one goes a little bit faster. I'll put the leap lash up there, so there's not a direct route to come and destroy it like last time. Long leg, bristle back here. Sky Drifter and something. I'm done. Alright, I guess I'm first. Bristle back up there. Long leg. Here. Go ahead. Don't think I can move all the way there. No, I can't. So I'm just gonna move up a little bit. What to do? What to do? She's so passive. It's infuriating. 
Right, that's a bristleback over there, right? Yes, it is. Alright, I'm just gonna send my dude in there to chill. He can just sprint up there and hang out. And... Move him here. How about I do this? That did one damage to him. Nice. All right, so he is gonna kill it. That machine's useless But he now. did just leave himself open. Oh, but I have to sprint there. Blah. All right. Alternatively, I can go here and not hit anything. Well, that does four damage. Oh, I could just get rid of that. Is that worth it? What is that? A claw strider does decent damage. Should I sacrifice my piece for that move? I kind of feel like I should. It's worth three points. My sky drifter is only two. You know what? Oh, but then he's going to move up a space and then it won't work. Yeah, never mind. Ooh, he can move there, but that doesn't really help us. Right. Let's move our sun wing up, I suppose. Hmm, can I cost try to just attack me next turn? Two, and he can attack two. Yeah, actually, you know what? We're going big. This opponent's way too passive we're just gonna get in there and do some damage so boom really is the best and actually i could just potentially overcharge and get out of there but yeah screw it yeah, i may regret this but i'm being impatient machine. and i just want to get I in there if i get it oh i can jump over my own piece Ah, well, screw that. I'm gonna do it. Get rid of that Claw Strider. And it's gone. Aggressive play. Could even overcharge and get out of there, but you know, I'm just gonna leave him in there. See what happens. Mm, let me think. Alright, so that one clearly that hurt. Useless now. Alright, looks like my aggressive play paid off. They did get rid of my Sky Drifter. But... It's not too bad. And I could get rid of the bristle back as well while I'm in there. Really start sacrificing some pieces. That'd be another two points. That'd give me to five. They have four though. If they take out this piece, they're at six. They only need one more. Alternatively, I could go in with that. That's not really gonna do me much. So I think I'm actually gonna pull back. I think I'm gonna pull out on that one. Let's leave it over here. Sunwing can go up there. How about I do this? Oh, he just played that terribly. <laughs> he even overcharged and hurt himself. Herself. Okay, this should be easy. Boom, take him out. Good. That one's down. Bring the long leg as protection for the weak point. Oh, terrible move. Terrible, terrible move. Yes. I don't know why she's excited, because she is about to lose. Let's see. Sunwing. There. They'll do one damage, but I don't care, because that should be the win. Let's see. Yeah, that, that's a roller back, Swift 4. So let's do that. And she hits armor. Yes. And the win. That was a game to remember. Here, for beating me on all my boards. Another machine strike player completed. I got uh, two skill points for that. And a roller back strike piece. Not too shabby. You've got skills, Outlander. Come back soon.
Anyone looking to play a game Fire or two of Machine walking. Strike? I really wasn't to swim down anymore. I really wasn't expecting to have to come down here again. They surprised me. I figured we were done down here. I guess they made this super cool area though. They gotta they gotta get a little bit more use out of it. Oh, there's a question mark down here. Huh? Unknown. Interesting. Ah, uh, has it changed? I don't remember the big, like, astronaut dude. I feel like it changed a little bit. There's my Tide Ripper. Alright, well anyways, um, I do want to see what this question mark is. It might be above? No, it's acting like it's here. Wait a minute. Unidentified signal. Oh, that was there? Well, I totally missed it last time. Lots of sights down here. Didn't know. Ooh, we can take over Snap Maws now. Oh, yes. I need a Snap Maw, buddy. That's gonna make it so much better. Give me that Snap Maw, buddy. I'm ready. I'm ready to experience the joy. Do it! Yeah! All right, Snap Mom, me and you. Me and you, buddy. Let's go. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, freeze him up. I'll wait. Oh, my God. Look at that damage. <laughs> my buffed up machines are so good. I'm just going to watch. I don't even need to participate. All right, I'll help a little bit. I don't want to hurt him though. Watch out, dude. I don't want to hurt you. There we go. Do my bidding. Fight for me. The thing, I, yeah. Look at him go. That's crazy. All right. I think I might actually have to shoot him once though. To get the experience. Yay, I helped! Oh, and he already killed the other one. Oh my god, he's so good. Nice job. Oh, that was a spike snap. That's why he went down so easy. Alright. They mentioned burrowers, though. Those aren't burrowers that I fought. I think they lied. Oh, apparently I missed that last time. Wait, do I not have this tracked? Is that what's going on? No, I do. All right, he said it was like a dragon overhead, but it's saying this one? Oh, did I go too far? Was I not supposed to go into this area? Maybe that's the deal. Maybe I ran right past the burrowers. 
Alright, well anyways, I gotta get rid of my my friend. Oh, I guess, I guess he abandoned me. We were best of friends! How could you do this to me? Right, I gotta find a better way to fight these. Like, where's a good spot to shoot them? That's not it. That's not it. Oh, I hit some weak point there. Maybe the throat? Maybe the mouth. Eh, the mouth's not bad. Ow. Ah, see, I try to melee him and it just doesn't freaking work. What, um... I can't remember what... Oh, I see, I hit him in the the, the uh, sack on the bottom. I forgot about that. Alright, well, at least I have one spot that's reliable to hit the mat. I can aim right under the... Oh, and it takes him down, too. Alright, good. I finally have a decent spot to hit these things. I can't remember. That might actually be his cold water sack. Yeah! Oh, yeah, these are way easier now. This isn't too bad. We can deal with this. Alright, I finally have a decent strategy against these dudes. Okay. Time to find that burner Mullen told me about. Uh, it still seems to be sending me over here though. Maybe this is the spot. Oh, it is. I can go into here. Oh, interesting. All right, definitely didn't go in here before. All right, well, I don't know what burrowers he was talking about because there were no burrowers. This looks like the place. No burrowers, though. The vent. Clearly go in there. Get this first. The data point too. That Maybe that was the statue. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. Burner one D E F nine eight one controlled flame device. If I can pull that down. I think so. Oh, it always hits me in the head. I need to get to the upper level. Maybe I can find something to stand on. Uh. Oh. Is there's a crate in that room? But how to get to it? MIA Hellraise Psychic Inferno. Advert data corruption is minimal. Prepare for all. Prepare for magic. Prepare for the Psychic Inferno. Oh, Mia Hellraise. Mia Hellraise returns to Vegas with her hottest show yet, and the critics can't get enough of it. Dazzling. She'll fry your mind. Como siempre, el show de Mia este fuera de Siri. Which I'm sure I said wrong. Open your mind to a new reality as this mistress of magic burns away the border between our world and the mystical beyond. Our sensational mystery and mentalist dinner won't be here forever though, so book your tickets now for the experience that's setting the world of magic on fire. Dazzling dancers, devilish divination, and a flaming dragon await you in the psychic inferno. Alright, this seems pretty simple. Bring the crate out, jump to the top, get the burner. Oh, there's a Vista Point Tower? I wonder if that's down here. I wonder if it's outside or down here. Alright, where am I taking it? Maybe over here? 
Uh, no, I'm gonna guess over here, actually. Oh. Hold on, I can't move it past here. Maybe I just climb up here. Oh, it is hot. Aha. Okay. Gotta get higher up to reach the statue. Oh. oh, I think I need to go over here. Oops. Mm, is that high enough? Oh, oh god! Yeah, perfect. Uh, what do I do from here? I guess I can glide. Yeah. Oh, I missed some supplies over there. I'll have to get that on my way back. Can I get there from here? I don't know about that. Maybe if I use that like a zip line? No, I don't think so. I, I guess I'll just make a jump for it, see what happens. Nope. Huh. Maybe there was a way to get higher. Maybe a oh I see. I see it now. Can't hook onto that. Okay, and then can I go up? No. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if I could grab it somehow. <laughs> See. No. Oh. What is that? How would I get to that? Alright, I clearly clearly need to go higher. The question is how? And here's my answer. Burner maintenance report. Text law data corruption is partial. Burner 1DEF981, November 2nd, 2055. Dragon burner refueled. Component cleaning cycle completed. Safety check done. November 9th, 2055. Dragon burner refueled. Component cleaning cycle completed. Safety check done. November 16th, 2055. Dragon burner refueled. Component cleaning cycle completed. Complaint from client that current flame level lacked spectacle. Increased pressure on main burner. November 17, 2055. Increased pressure led to uncomfortable levels of heat wash on first three rows of tables. Customers, re or customers reseated and the couple in A5 compensated for singed clothing. Pressure reduced. Dragon burner refueled. Component cleaning data. Or component cleaning cycle. Data corrupted. Okay. So... I think there's actually one below me, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, weird. I could have actually pulled that out. I see, I wasn't actually supposed to be able to make that jump. I was supposed to use that. Whatever, I made my own path. But that's what I was originally supposed to do. Alright, and then clearly it wants me to jump from here. To get the burner. Ah. Huh. Made it. Whoa! Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. Alright, let me get this. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I could have jumped there and then back over here. I see. I think I got everything here. Burrowers. You will ow. You will join me. Oh, I can't. Oh, he's Apex. Yeah, he's Apex. That's why I can't get him. Oh, double. I got the double. Nope, miss that shot. Miss that. Oh, come on. Don't be a pain. There we go. Oh, knocked him down. Just barely missed that. Whoa! Oh, he got me. What a jerk. Was he close enough to take that explosion? No, he wasn't. I might have actually needed a scan on those, but... Shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, are we good in here? Do oh, apparently miss this. Good. Next stop, Warland's amazing elevating orb. Be prepared. All right, so we do have that vista point in here that I want to check out. I'm actually wondering if it's at the top of the uh, the astronaut. <laughs> it might be. Where'd it go? Oh, is it this? This kind of looks like it, actually. Nah, that's not it. Where the heck did it go? It was here. Oh, here it is. It came back. Let's see. Can I climb this? No. Can I climb this? <laughs> sort of. Huh. Yeah, it's up there for sure. Question is, how do I get up there? And I just found the answer. This isn't helping me in any way. Oh, hold on. Oh, I can go inside of there? Is that the deal? Oh, I think, yeah. The uh, the lights threw me off. I didn't know what I was looking at. Okay, so I can go in here. Oh, look at this. Gears money. Text law, data corruption is minimal. Yo, 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 just one pinnacle in destiny hollow slots. We're talking gears money, my squad. What am I gonna buy? What am I gonna buy? What am I gonna buy? Maybe a tank? F that, a freaking spaceship. Hmm, probably can't afford it. Hollow travel, maybe? I will ride an elephant across the gats. Or maybe, just maybe, I will class up my flat all retro with a Bakelite telephone. Oh yeah, hot. Aminals? I will acquire my own personal pet fox and follow it wherever it goes. Come to think of my personal appearance needs, upgrades. White kick show, fast like dragon fast. First things first, right now I need another drink real bad. All right. So this actually didn't help me. Where's the Vista thing? It's still high up there. There must be another way. Oh, I wonder if I launch myself. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, no, 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 I had it. Hold on. All right, let's see. Grab it. Nope, no, nope, okay. I guess not. Not that. Not that, there must be another way. Looking. What in the heck? How do I get up there? Reveal your secrets. I wonder if I go from there, maybe? Maybe that's the deal. Let's see if I can climb this thing. This actually looks a little promising. Or maybe... Oh, yeah. That's the grapple point I know about. But that's it. Reveal your secrets to me. Huh. Maybe I can go up here. Oh, and that. Right, I want to see what this is. An image from the old world. Looks like part of the city inside the dome. Oh, the th the marker was wrong. This was the thing. I was right. Okay, well, it tricked me. Okay, well, clearly wants me... Yeah, it wants me over here. Maybe here? Oh, no, that's definitely not it. It's more like... I bet you it's over here. With that ladder. thinking here I can get a good view of the city from this overhang maybe I should try to line up the image here close but no cigar can I climb this ah uh, wait no we're almost there I need to be a little bit higher I think I'm confused. That seems like it should have been good. Maybe right here. I'm actually too high, huh? Where am I? Oh, I think maybe it just wants me like right freaking here, right at the edge. No, I think it does want me up here, maybe. Maybe this is it. Hair is sick with this heat. I don't know, this seems a little silly, but maybe. I don't know, it looks pretty close to me. Unless it wants this exact spot. Uh, it looks pretty aligned to me. Like, perfectly. What? Why don't you like this spot? What's your problem? Hey, do I have that? I don't know if I have that data point. Alright, what am I doing wrong here? Let's see. I mean, maybe it's like over there? On top of that thing? I don't know, I thought this spot was pretty solid. Would I have the right angle over there? Maybe? Yeah, maybe that would work. Let me try it over here. Okay. 
I feel like this one might be too far away, though. I lost the Vista Point image. Nope. Gotta stay in the right area and try again. That's gotta be it. All right. Well, anyways, do I have I think I'm this? Back in range of the Vista oh, well, I'm back in range. I could try to find where the image was taken. Yeah, this is way too far away. It's it's clearly on that bridge. Why didn't it like where I was? Why is Aloy having so much trouble with this ladder? Aloy, what's going on here? It's just a ladder. You can handle this. Yeah, it's clearly over here. What's your problem, game? It's right here. What the? Hello? I I don't know. It's. It could be slightly off, but it's not off by much. Like, that lines perfectly. Look at that. Like, it's just slightly off. I don't know what the magic spot is, but I'm basically right on it. Hello? There it- okay. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Very specific spot. I have to stand on the exact spot I was standing before. I went there like four times. All right, anyways, Dune Hollow. Text law, data corruption's partial. Welcome to the Vegas Strip, stop of our Vista Point tour, brought to you by Miriam Technologies and the Coalition for Environmental Reclamation. The water system built by Stanley Chen and Oasis Filtration to service the Las Vegas Dome is a marvel of engineering, recycling 99.7% of the city's supply. But sometimes even the best can be improved. With the recent addition of Miriam Technologies Winnow Scrubbing Drones, legacy micro microplastic content within the system has been reduced by 73%. Comments from Samira. This is the first of those or this is the first of these tour things I've found. We'll definitely look for the others. Casey just won three thousand dollars playing hollow poker at the fountain. Gonna donate half to the CER. GLE, inspiring, Casey. I don't have much, but I'll donate too. Yes, she speaks. Does that mean that whatever goes down the toilet comes back out of the faucet? Because that is data corrupted. That's actually a real thing in some cities. They recycle all the wastewater. And it's completely safe, but... I am probably just like everybody else, and it's like, but that's so disgusting, even though it becomes water, just the thought of it is pretty disturbing. Okay, so I'm trying to remember how I swam to that first area, because that is apparently where I missed a data log, data point. I think it might be down here, or no. No, maybe it was higher. Maybe it's through there? Let me see. Most cities use recycled wastewater for irrigation purposes. Yeah, this is for drinking. Some cities are using it for drinking. I don't remember how we got to that. Maybe it was higher up. It would have been like up here-ish. If I'm remembering correctly, which maybe I'm not. Let's see if we can find a passage. This might actually be it. Let's see, can I go through this? No, I can't. Well, what the heck was that? It was to the first valve. I thought it was in this... Actually, you know, it might not be in this area. It might be in the, the larger area. 
I think all three valves were in that area, so I might just be in completely the wrong area. This is where the Tide Ripper was swimming around. So it's probably over here. I think it was on the left. Maybe through here? I see this is gonna be a pain in the butt to find. It's weird that it was easier to find when it was flooded. Maybe this is it. Taste of the high life. Well, I didn't have this, so maybe this is what I was missing. Takes a lot of data corruption is partial. Data corrupted. I missed on or I miss bleh, I can't speak. Data corrupted. I understand you want me to come back and I'm missing Jesse too, but this takes the personal touch. Our competitors can oh no, we have seen this. Never mind. What the heck? Where was it? Hmm. I am not sure. I feel like it was over here somewhere. If I keep going too far, I'll end up at the other one. Maybe it's through here? Ah, oh, this looks promising. This might be it. Yeah, well, I at least missed this. I think this might be it. And apparently I missed There's a bunch some kind of stuff. Device in that room. Looks like oh, hey. Someone needs a code to open. I should check around the ruin. See if I can find anything that might help. Interesting. Well, I don't think this is it, but this is something completely different that I missed. One of those embers. I think they're called What's embers. in here? Huh. So that device I saw is called an ornament. I found one of these in another ruin. It sounds like there are more out there. And it looks like there's part of a code. Might be for the door. Hmm. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. Malfunction. Uh, text data points, side quests, text mail from Mel Baird, data corruption is partial. From Mel Baird to Shay Navarro, subject malfunction. Shay, remember when that guy came in saying he was Kyle's business partner and he was here to collect the ornaments to set up for the big show? Well, the pingback from those things currently puts them all over the southwest. Kyle's convinced it's a malfunction, for now. But the closer we get to the show, the more he's going to freak out. I won't tell you... Or I won't tell if you won't. Anyway, he changed the code for his office, so the cleaning bots will need to be updated. Otherwise, they'll pile up at the door trying to get in. Here's the code. Data corrupted 135. Yep, same six-digit code as the RSVPs he sent out. Guy's not too creative. What can I say? Alright, so we're looking for some RSVPs, apparently. Good to know. I guess we can hop over the top. Yep. Right, where the heck are we? The hatch might lead to another part of the ruin, but how to get to it? I don't know what hatch she's talking about. Are you seeing a hatch? At the top of the fence. Could be a way in if I can find a way to get up there. Well, there's some. There's a block here. A couple blocks. What hatch is she talking about? Hey, Lloyd, where's this hatch at? I don't see it. Those crates could help me reach the opening at the top of the fence. Maybe she. Oh, uh, maybe she means here. That might be it. I can't pull this out. It looks like the crate on top's blocked. That'll be able to do anything with that. Aha! Uh -huh. way to pull the top crate off. Oh, I need a little bit more verticality. There we go. Let's 
just grab it. Okay. So I think she's talking about up here. I feel like I could probably get up there by just jumping normally, but I guess not. Yeah. Okay, now I need the other one. Let's bring it back. Uh, actually, this won't help me because I need them on top of each other. Although, I wonder if I could stack them with this ramp. I guess there's one way to find out. I think it actually wants me to go there. But, I don't know. Let's see what happens when I grab the bottom one. Oh, it does let me move both. Alright, maybe. Maybe. Is this where it wanted me? Made it. Oh, okay. I guess that was it. I won't budge from this side. from this side can I shoot through the fence oh it looks like I can This isn't that difficult. You can manage this. There we go. Okay, now that box is out of the way. And here we go. Oh, that's the hatch we're talking about. Let's see where this leads. more here than I initially realized. Looks like the ornaments were part of something called the Knights of Lights holiday promotion? A way to celebrate old world holidays by changing the holograms above ground? But how? Well, the other part of the code's here too. I should have what I need to open the door. RSVP requested. Text log data corruption is partial. Standout Hollow cordially invites you to the Knights of Lights holiday promotion VIP viewing lounge. Marvel from the best seat in the city as the Vegas skyline is transformed into a dazzling Hollow holiday celebration, featuring a sample of holiday offerings available at launch. Uh, Knights of Lights will also offer a range of customization options to make every display the talk of the town. Secure your place in Vegas history as the City of Lights lives up or lives up to its name. Representatives will be on hand to answer any questions and note any specific requests. Demonstration begins at 8 p.m., followed by dinner and entertainment. Your RSVP is embedded in this invitation. When prompted, enter this six-digit code. So 739, data corrupted. I can't remember what the numbers other numbers were, but we'll figure it out.
Uh, you're worried I might bug something out? Well, let me just save it. To do why? Oh, I can't save because I'm on a campfire. Well, we have auto saves for this. I don't know why we'd bug something out. I'm just exploring, not doing anything weird. Oh, right, I could just jump down. I don't know why I'm going this way. Okay, how do I get back in there? Well, I guess we will find out together if it glitches something out. Alright, so let me bring up those logs. This would be in the notebook. Oh boy. Was it hiding? I guess it'd be a side quest one. Ah, oh, here they are. Okay, so this was the first three. Seven, three, nine. Seven, three, nine, one, three, five. Seven, three, nine, one, three, five. There we go. I'm in. Got the ornament. Guess I'll hold on to it for now. An ancient holographic device that was once part of a set recovered from the underground ruins of Las Vegas. So we got five of those things now. Those are normally in the relic ruins. But this one's a little special. So I still haven't found the freaking cave that led to the first um the first valve. I don't know where the heck that is. It's clearly not this far back though, because that's where the uh, other one was. So what the heck? How do you get there? I really, like, it looks so different from when it was underwater. I have no idea which way it even might be. Anybody got a guess? I feel like it's got, I feel like I'm close to it now. The data point I missed? Potential, like supposedly I missed a data point, yeah, but I can't even find the tunnel that I went through to close the first valve. I, I don't know where the heck it was. I. I'm pretty sure it was just past this and on the left. And I feel like it was in this area. But it doesn't seem to be. I wonder if it was like higher up on the buildings. I mean, maybe it was way back here, but I kind of doubt it. It seems too far. My focus isn't picking anything up. Check over where the tall building was for Poseidon? Oh, no, it's not over th I'm pretty sure it's not over there where we fought the Tide Ripper. Because if you remember, we left the Tide Ripper area to enter this bigger area. 
that's where the final valve was in this building. But there was not So we went to the left first. There was a valve on the left. We swam through there. And then there was the other valve over here, which I think we can easily access. I believe it's still here. I think it was in here. Maybe right here. I don't know. What the heck? It was over here somewhere. I hope they didn't close up. Because that would be awful. I didn't like miss it forever, did I? I don't think they have any missable ones. But now I can't find this one either. What the heck? I know it was over here. Well, that's a little concerning. It actually does. Yeah, it was in here. Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, they 100% have missable data points. Well, we might be screwed. We might be screwed. Well, this sucks. This really, really, really sucks, if that's the case. Oh, I have a save, but it would be... Uh, it would be hours and hours and hours and hours back. Oh, they give you missable data points now? Maybe I just have it then. Check the above data points you wrote? What are you talking about? I don't see you writing anything. I don't see anything, Danny. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Check whether you have audio data point 5 to 10 in the main quest. Let's see. I think... Is it this? I think you just mean audio points. Or audio data points. I don't think it specifies. I do have 5 to 10. Maybe that's that one I... Yeah, so at the beginning of the stream, I didn't notice this one. And that's probably why. It probably gave it to me. Okay, well, anyways, it looks like we have it. So, uh, heading back upstairs. Crisis averted. Cool. Well, good thing they did that. Otherwise, we would be stuck. Well, we wouldn't be stuck. We'd have to go back really far, and that would be awful. You think the game used to have missable data points? I can't stand it when games have missable stuff like that. I don't mind if there's, like, missable gear and things like that, but for a game of this length, like... You should really be able to get everything after the fact, in my opinion. I mean, you're talking about a game that's gonna be well over a hundred hours to have missable things in that? Oof. It's a hard pill to swallow, so I'm glad they, they changed it. Anyone looking to play a game or two in Machine Strike? Talk to some of these last ones. Well, I hope a bristleback tripped him up. 
Alright, too many people are talking, I can't. Can't keep it straight. Remedies and brew to make life easier. Shannies, do you like Horizon Forbidden West better or Horizon Zero Dawn? I think, and I'm going off a little bit of memory, which is always a little skewed. I feel like Horizon Forbidden West has a lot more that I enjoy, but Horizon Zero Dawn didn't have anything that I hated. And this game does have some things that I hate. So, I don't know. They, they're kind of equalized because of that, in my opinion, but I think... If you remove the things that I dislike in this this game, I would consider it, consider it a better game. Did you get it? But I would say they're kind of equal to me because of that. Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly just majestic. Here you go, Morland. Yes, yes. Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh. This design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? Well, this is cool. What was that? Ah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, time to give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah. The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violence and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. With simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. <laughs> you know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel crippling fear of heights that said he gets poetic when drunk he has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers a little known fact osram poetry started his work songs and forges around the claim <laughs> just a bit of turbulence we shall tame these wild skies yet <sighs> this feels like more than turbulence uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What is that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came like that. Morland! Oh. <laughs> That's just a small step back. Nothing to worry about! Shoo! 
that? He's in danger. I have to get to him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. Oh, it's stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear out these machines. Alright, that's why we have a globe blast sharp shot bow now. Uh, there. Oh, it missed? Wow, that did a lot though. Oh, I see. It's traveling down a little bit. That's fair. Alright, anyways. Plasma them up. And give them the big boom. That should do quite a bit. Wait, what is that? Anything special? Machine unknown. Apex long life. Okay. Well, anyways, he should be dying from the explosion, right? Yep, there he goes. <laughs> it worked. Oh, it lied. It said it does... Oh, it's supposed to do, like, just as much damage as I did. But I did over half his health. You dirty liar. Alright. Oh, I was trying to get a scrapper. Holy crap. What the heck was that? Oh, what the heck hit me, but that was brutal. What was that? Moreland, you're the one who almost got me killed in your stupid hot air balloon. Ow! Alright, whatever. Let's focus on this dude. No. Oh, wow. That did a lot more damage than I expected. Uh oh. Alright, hold on. We got it. Goodbye, bird. God, I'm getting beat up by these things. It's kind of sad. Okay, that's the last one. Better check on Morland. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Aloy, great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hey, what's this? Long leg wing burner. Legendary. What the heck? Green shine. Good luck. Your sudden and decisive departure was not something I was expecting. No, sorry. All right, what else do we got before we s help out old Moreland? Oh, he's stuck under a rock. <laughs> hey, you all right? Oh. oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping... And then you tumbled out and... That's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram Aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I, mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay, let's go. You want to make another one? Do you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Storm bird, huh? They've apparently gotten a lot more powerful. Storm birds could definitely not do that in the first game. Aloy, would you mind finding a way across? 
All we need is something to bridge the gap. Huh, metal flower spot. Well, we've got another one to come back to at some point. Get that on my map. Alright. Uh wait, it's not expecting me to have the metal flower here, is it? Because I don't have it. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, never mind. We got a tree. I think I found us a bridge. Hulk Aloy, engage. Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, uh, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Oh boy, these were a pain in the butt in the first game. Let's see how nasty they are here. My skin started and then stopped. Uh, scan, maybe? Okay, I'm too far away. This easy? There we go. Stormbird, level 30. A mighty combat machine that embodies the power of storms capable of flying at high altitudes, diving at breakneck speeds, and deadly melee and shock attacks. Hard outer casing to protect synthetic muscle and operational systems, weak to acid and plasma. I don't really care about plasma because it's been pretty bad. It's got the wing thrusters. Wing thrusters used to gain additional speed, destroy or detach all thrusters to disable its diving melee attack. Jeez, I gotta disable all five or six of them? Six of them to get him to stop dive bombing? He does have a chill water canister. That's definitely what we want. That's the same as the first game on the neck. We're definitely gonna be trying to take advantage of that. Uh, a storm cannon. A powerful lightning generator to attach or destroy to disable its range shock attacks. That was uh, another spot I would often aim at in the first game. Purge water canisters on the back. I think those used to be lightning. That makes them much harder to deal with. So we still have the chill water though. That's going to be big. Alright. Not much to work with, to be fair. Not much. Let's see. We should probably start with a little bit of healing. Oh, actually, I don't have any. Oh, yeah, I do. Alright. Let's give myself some health with that. And some stew. There we go. Hey. 720 health to work with. Uh, and do I have a weapon with ice? I think I do. I think one of my bow, my warrior bows has it. Although I might have a hunter bow with it now. Do I? Let's see. I thought I did. Yeah, I do. I have a frost hunter bow. Let's go ahead and equip this bad boy. Put that um here. Okay, this should make it much easier. Alright, I, I definitely want to fight it with some area to maneuver, so we're going to fight it down here. Let's say hello, shall we? Oh, he saw me. Trying to get that casing off. Oh, I don't even have to, it's just a weak point right away. Let's go, bird. You and me. Did I stop it? Oh, I stopped it. And I didn't stop it that time. Just keep hitting that weak point, Moylan. Oh, got it. Oh, nice. Get in there quick. You need ammo. 
attach that. Good. Look up. Alright, I gotta hit that blast. Got it. All right, so I lose that week. Oh, knocked him down. Can I get one more. No. Get that on him. No, I miss. Got it. Round his foot. Oh, come on, that one should have hit. Got it. Alright, let's see. Come. Boom! Oh, how'd that miss? I should have hit him in the tail. Uh oh. Oh. Alright, there has not been any opportunity to hit his ice chill water canisters at all. Where are they at? Oh, there they are, I see him. If I can get those, he's in big trouble. Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna do that dive bomb crap, isn't he? Oh! Gotcha! Beat him up! Oh, don't knock off that chill water canister. That'd be a terrible strategy. Oh, knocked him down. Attach that. Almost got him. Oh, and he's done. Easy. It's dead. Steel to my soul. Oh. oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me. Or really fancied my. Hey, Lloyd. Uh, over here. When you have a moment. Oh, he interrupted himself. Steel to my soul. Oh. Oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me. Or really fancied my orb. Oh, I can definitely find a use for this. Kicked his butt. I, I feel like there's the Stormbirds in this game are easier. The first game, they were absurdly aggressive. He just kind of took it. He was easy to interrupt even when he was charging up his lightning. I don't know. I was expecting more. Found it. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb, something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland. I think Stormbirds are bugged. They stay super passive. Yeah, the, the birds in this game actually have a lot of issues, so that would not surprise me at all. Maybe we'll actually fight a, a proper storm bird later, but either way, we kicked his butt. It felt good. And I'm sitting on 21 skill points. I should probably use those. Uh, we haven't dipped too much into Survivor recently. We could get Toughen 2. Let's go ahead and do that. Toughen 2 sounds good to me. I didn't really want anything else. Burst dodge? Lob a blast of bombs in front of you while automatically dodging backwards. That seems kind of pointless, but... 
guess we could try it. Sticky bomb. Fire a bomb on your currently select or of your currently selected type that sticks to a target and explodes after a delay. Attach multiple bombs to simultaneously detonate them and deal extra damage. That seems kind of pointless. Power Shredder. Launch a special shredder that deals extra damage to a target. Shredder does not return after impact. So just an exploding shredder. Okay. Well, let's try one of them. Um, I guess we may as well try the burst dodge. I haven't used the blastlings in a while. Give that a go. Alright. Machine Ma I'm actually really enjoying Machine Master when I get the opportunity to take stuff over. We could get Part Breaker up to level 10. Machine Elemental Plus. Elemental... Our overridden machines deal more damage with our elemental attacks. That's actually good. That would have been even better on my snap moth. So let's actually pump these up. Because I've had the opportunity to get these multiple times and I haven't. Oh, what's this one? Chain burst? Bolster your resolve against multiple enemies. Damage chains from one enemy to another? Within 15 minutes? Or 15 meters and boost knockdown power. Huh. That's kind of interesting. And I just need efficient repair for it. Sure, we'll give that a shot at some point in melee situation. So unlock that. Mounted archer I don't care about. Okay. What about Trapper? Trapper just doesn't appeal to me all that much. Although I do trigger my own freaking traps all the time, so I'll go ahead and get Resilient Trapper. Food duration, eh, I guess we may as well boost that. What's this one over here? Skilled Salvager, I don't care about that. Would get me a new thing, but whatever. Uh, and then what about Hunter? Anything in here I should pick up? Not really, I kind of have everything. There's knockdown shot. Fire a special arrow that does no damage but can stagger or knock down machines, leaving them vulnerable to follow-up strikes. That could be good for bird stuff. Oof, that's five skill points? But it's better than my other hunter bow technique, so you know what? I'm going to get it. Why not? There we go. I managed to spend all my, my points. Now for the hunter bow, make some more arrows. I hate... I need a bigger arrow pouch... I just burned through this too quick. We'll go with uh, the old knockdown shot. See if that ends up being useful. And what? What's my... um? I don't even remember what Valor Surge I have at the moment. What Valor Surge is that? Oh, it's Melee Might. Yeah, I kind of don't want that. Maybe we'll go... Maybe we'll go back to um, the damage one. Ranged Master. Let's go ahead and equip this. Okay. I think I'm all set. Oh, and... Oh, no. I can't get that. What, what is that? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Plasma precision arrows. Well, I must have thrown that at me. Trying to be helpful. He was not. He was there. He tried. A for effort. Yeah, I gotta say that stone bird was a little disappointing. Although my my aim was fairly true. So, no. and he wasn't Apex. If he was Apex, we might have had a much tougher time. That's certainly the case with the Thunderjaw. My god, that Apex Thunderjaw. Nasty. Oh, hey, that put me right near that uh, Rebel Outpost I was going to do. I think. Oh, no, it's down here. Right? Yeah, Devil's Grasp. Cool, well, let's go do that since I'm in the area. Let's get this campfire. <laughs> Like you had 14,000 tree branches at the end of your playthrough. Yeah, I don't, I don't bother with the 
with the branches too much. It's kind of pointless, to be honest. Especially since I'm so efficient with making the stuff now. But you know what? Since we're talking about it, I'll grab some because I might actually be getting low. Yeah, I'm only got 300. So, good to grab some. Alrighty. Like I said, we're going to go do that rebel camp. So that is this one. Devil's Grasp. Tanakh rebels have been spotted at the southern edge of the desert. What are they doing out there? That'll give me three skill points. Kill this piggy. Sorry, piggy. Woo, purple. A peccary bone. Once again, I only know what a peccary is because of Red Dead. Oh, look at this. One of those horse machines. I wonder if this is one of Silence's camps. Is this your place, Silence? A rebel camp. Just like that horse from Delver set. I forgot to mention, it was built under a Horus. What are they doing here? Greetings from Aloy. Oh, you're masked. That's not gonna work. Well, screw it. Maybe I can hit her in the chin. See if that works. Right there. Nope. Took the helmet off. Oh, oh my god, she took a headshot. I've been spotted. Get erect. Finish him. Got him. May as well use ranged master. Oh, hello. Alright, let me find some different spots. They got freaking claw striders. Cheaters. Boom. Oh, the knockdown shot didn't even do its, what it said it was going to do. Man, they got help. What happened over there? The machine got knocked over somehow. He got me. Crap. Alright. I'm out of heels. Okay. There we go. Alright. You know what? I want to go back to freaking toughened. Range Master just isn't doing it for me. Alright. Go toughened. I am toughened. Alright. Where's he at? You want some of this? Oh, nice dodge. Whoa, what? 
through tough end with a decent amount of HP. What the heck did I get hit with? Wow, that was some crap. What the heck was that? <laughs> oh, that looked like BS to me. I don't know. I'd have to see my health again. That looked like some BS. It's funny, the, uh, the... Humans are the most dangerous enemies in this game. I'm tempted to go stealth just because of how annoying it is to try to take them all down. But, whatever, here we go. Oh, actually, I did. Oh, but even stealth doesn't work because they got too much health. Yeah, the humans are a bit too powerful in my opinion. Or, or rather, there's too many of them. Dodge next time. Oh, nice takedown, Aloy. Alright, I need, uh... Crap. Get her off that claw strider. Too bad I can't override a claw strider. That would be really helpful. The one toughened eventually. Oh, freaking bristleback. Dude, get up! Take all day! Alright, let's go bristleback first then. Ow. Got it. Kaboom! Ah, oh, man. Get off of me. Right, I gotta try to take out one of these machines if I can. Or, uh, not take out, but, um, take over one of these machines if I can. I don't think I can. Oh, he got back on? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. He's done. Whoa! Actually, you know, do I have a claw shredder thing? I can't remember. Get back on there. <laughs> That's not happening. That's not happening. All right. Uh, do I deal with the claw strider now or later? Let's do it now. I'm gonna go back to my warrior bow. Oh, it's shielded on the chest. That crap off of there. Alright, you know what? Screw him. Maybe he'll fight the others. They'll probably just mount him again, but whatever. I'm taking the risk. I'm taking the risk. Maybe they got a heavy weapon I can grab. Sometimes they have those. Oh, what was that? Well, he's affecting his friends. Alright, who is doing that crap? That's what killed me last time. Oh, big boy. Oh my god, there's so many. Got her helmet off. Oh. Right, me and you, buddy. 
Let's go. Get out of here. Whoa. Oh, the claw strider is back. No! Bad claw strider. Uh oh, he's enraged. Alright, let's go. Ow. Now who's shooting me? And. Can't see. Gotcha! Oh, I missed. Terrible. Stupid claw shredder! Why don't you attack them? You're free, little buddy. Get out of here. There we go. Alright. Where are those stupid archers? Alright, we got shield dude. I'm dealing with him. Where's your archer friends? Headshot. Oh, terrible. All right, hold on. I'm going to use this to my advantage. Who's silly enough to come in here? Who's silly enough to rush me? Oh, come on, Colostrider. Now you're smart? All right, well, we got the shield guy at least. How is that not a headshot? Oh. Whoa! All right, I got him in here. Ah! Boom! Oh, don't fall! No, no, I can't take advantage of it. Ah! Oh, it did so much damage too. All right, there's got to be a way back up. Got to be a grapple, right? No, no. Okay, cool. While I'm back in. There's that claw strider. Hi, claw strider. Here, take this. Boom! Right in your chest. And missed. Wait for it. Oh, missed. Whoa! Oh, he got me with that tail follow-up. That was nasty. Got it. Alright, that'll be the end of him. Kaboom! Alright, he's done. Who else we got? Uh, let me go toughened again. Bombing me again. Screw that nonsense. I know how that ends. Even with toughened. Wait, where was that? Ugh, fine. Maybe they have no angle over here. Got him, but I gotta get those freaking archers. Get away from me! Right, where is he at? Where is he at? Oh no, there's two of them! Oh, hold on though. We got this. Kaboom! Oh, come on, that took a lifetime. There we go. 
Alright, now the archer's over here. Button. Oh, out of nowhere. Dang it. God. There you are, you freaking jerk. I'm coming for you. Get that mask off. Right in the face. Uh, where are you now? Oh my god, they're ninjas. Oh. Terrible shot. <laughs> Finally. Alright, Toughen's ready again. Oh my god, is there another one? Where's that coming from? There you are. Oh, I see you now. I see you now. You're the one who's giving me all those problems. How is that not a headshot? Oh my god, it almost freaking one-shot me again. Oh my god. Come on, that's a freaking headshot. It's so obviously a headshot. Alright, got her. Oh, who left? Up there. Wait, what? Where? Uh, I saw an arrow come from that direction, but I don't see him. He doesn't see me. Boom! He's dead. Wow, 4,000 experience for him. Headshot. Oh, missed. Ooh, I am hurt because there's a billion of you. How are they? Oh, my God. Where are they coming from? Oh crap! Oh, got that off just in time. Here, toughened. Let's go time. Melee time. Yeah, you want some of this? Hold that heart. Oh, blow it up on both of them! Boom! Oh, come on! I should have killed him. All right, we find. Oh, you're still alive. What the heck? All right, we finally threw this. No. Nope. There's more. Where are they at now? Yeah, I'm gonna knock this down. Now what? Wasting my toughened. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe my focus can help me find him. Looking. Looking. Alright, maybe it's the center area. Maybe I gotta open this up. 
Yep. All right, boy, what is coming up now? I think this is where they run the camp. Do we have any heavy weaponry? Ooh, he does. Well, we'll say hello with a brace shot. Oh god! No stamina. Wow, he's actually not nearly as durable as the other leaders. Although I don't seem to be able to get through that <laughs> freaking helmet at all. What if I can knock him down? Knock down. Oh, I missed. Wow, that was terrible. Man, that helmet is legit. Oh, hi. Oh, he's enraged. All right. Avoid him. Ugh. Dude, hit it! Oh my god. Toughened! Alright, you know what? I might go for him. Let's go for a shot. This structure looks important. Maybe where they run the camp from. Alright, got him. Oh, you're in trouble now! You done messed up. But the camp is cleared. Giant pain in the butt. All right, it's a big camp. It's gonna take us a little while to look through it. But that will also give me the opportunity to restock on my medicinal berries. All right, we'll start outside because that's where the carnage began. But yeah, I don't, I don't know why they went so crazy with the human enemies like whenever you're fighting these camps there's just so many of them and they take headshots and they're all geared up they're a pain and even if you tried to stealth it wouldn't work because you can't one shot them with the stealth attacks so I mean it's all it's always going to devolve into what I just did anyway so yeah, I don't know. Pain in the butt. That's all I can say. Anyone see the announcement for the Horizon Zero Dawn TV show? Yeah, I did see that. I don't know how to feel about that. Ah, crap. There was a heavy gun. That might have come in handy. They usually have them. I just couldn't find it. Although it's a Ravager cannon. Those don't have many, much ammo from what I recall. Stealth Valor Surges increase stealth damage. But yeah, good luck stealthing him in the first place. But even if you did, I don't know if it'd be enough. Maybe. Maybe if you put on the stealth gear and did the stealth Valor Surge. I don't think one or the other is going to get the job done on this difficulty, but maybe. Either way, though, once again, good luck. 
when I do try to stealth, it doesn't end well. Not that I'm the best at stealth or even close to it. But I gotta, I gotta work with my own gifts, and stealth is not one of them. That, um, whatever it was they hit me, I think it was just a fire arrow. Whatever it was that killed me was absolutely ridiculous. I was running toughened, which greatly reduces the damage of attacks. And I had, I'm pretty sure I had a decent amount of health when I got hit, and it still took me out. One shot me. It seemed a bit absurd to me. This will break my fall. Considering the range that they hit you with that stuff from, I don't know, seemed a bit over the top. <laughs> it's still stealth if there's nobody left alive to report you. You do you. Yeah, stealth gameplay is not really my thing. Big surprise. You're all shocked, I know. I don't know, what do you guys think? Keep some extra on hand. I, I'm, I'm saying that the humans are the most difficult enemies in the game. They obviously don't one-shot. Wow, other than the freaking archers. But I think they're harder to deal with. Like, obviously I don't have a lot of deaths to them. So I, I would say... Maybe not as lethal? But they drain your resources and they're a giant pain in the butt. And it's near impossible to avoid all of their damage. Make it harder for the rebels to add more machines to their army? I should go back to the command center. Make sure I shut this place down. For good. Alright. So they can't override anymore. I had a claw strider override that would have been so helpful well I don't know though because they do so much damage <laughs> we saw those rebel soldiers earlier in the stream take out a thunder jaw on their own and there was only like three of them Some more bodies in there, but that's the center area. I think I've pretty much cleared out the outside at this point. Okay, yeah, should just be the command center area and then we're gravy. Yeah, the Deathbringer gun. Oh, I thought the Deathbringer gun was more like a sniper rifle. I guess not. I do like that they seem to recognize how crazy the, the humans are and give you a lot of medicinal herbs inside. Usually, sometimes they don't. But it's good that I can restock after, after my big battle. It's definitely helpful. Sons of Prometheus, focus. The focus is encrypted. Maybe I can hack into it back at base. What else have you been up to? Oh, a new errand. Let's see. Sons of Prometheus data. After recovering an encrypted focus belonging to the Sons of Prometheus, Aloy hopes to access its data back at the base. Yeah, we should probably do that. Because I've been, like, the Sons of Prometheus 
is an interesting part of the game that we haven't progressed much, so this should be good. Uh, what's this parchment? Orders to increase the number of machines being captured and overridden. That is not good. It's an override module. One. It's been altered. Looks like it needs to be inside a machine to work. That's what the equipment outside is for. They pierce through a machine's armor and insert the module to override it. So the rebels harvest ancient corruptors in the area to get override modules. And I'm guessing the sons of Prometheus modify them to be shoved into machines permanently. Now they have orders to override a lot more of them. That'll be hard with their equipment destroyed. I could go. Or I could take out the rest of the rebels. Hmm? I've dealt with the main threat here either way. Uh, they are done. Hey, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's done. But apparently the campfire is not unlocked, so let me go unlock that. Then we'll head back to the base and uh, see what we can learn about the Sons of Prometheus. Alright, we have the campfire. Let me go ahead and fast travel. Nice. All nice and clear. What was that? Oh, right. That was the... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, the salvage contract. <laughs> I've got so many things I'm working on. This game loves to just send me in like 5,000 directions at once. But I'm going to focus. I'm going to focus and we're going to go to the base and do the Sons of Prometheus thing. Of course, I'm near the rumor lady, and she has a rumor. Oh no. I must. What do you know? I see you, champion. Sit, please. I hear that Osiram Caravan down south is settling in nicely in our territory, bringing in all kinds of supplies from no man's land. They'd better hope our commander doesn't decide to supply them with a swift death instead. I'm sure there's more important things on your commander's mind. Oh, I think I was going to do that anyway. New errand, you broken law. See what they're up to. Yeah, I was going to go there anyway, so maybe this was just telling me about it. Broken locks. Porgoth has resumed operation now that the tunnel to no man's land is clear, but he may be in need of assistance again. Yeah, I was going to go back there anyway, so good. Something I was already planning to do. Let's do the Sons of Prometheus thing, though. People want to talk to me. I should go to my room and check out the focus I found in that rebel camp. Not on purpose. There she is. You're training. What else have you been studying with your focus? Yeah, I've been looking into this uh, Vegas place you found. Gaia showed us everything that happened when you went to get that Poseidon thing. I mean, this Moreland guy seems pretty smart. Though, risking the Tanakh clan lands for a light show is a bold move. His crew knows how to handle themselves. Mostly. Right. Sons of Prometheus, what do you know? Did you find anything out about the Sons of Prometheus? Yeah, my contacts are looking into it, but nah, nothing yet. Plus, I have the Vanguard checking Chain Scrape and Baron Light, in case these guys are moving any supplies through there. But if they are, I'll bet they're being careful about it. Yeah. And they have focuses, too. 
Makes it easier for them to evade guards and patrols. Hold on. Uh, way back when we first met, you came looking for me in Meridian because you detected Olin's focus with yours, right? So does that mean that if I go back to the Daunt with this... You could scan for other focuses. Uh, if an Asaram is wearing one of these, they'd have to be a part of that Prometheus group. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I've been known to have those once in a while. <laughs> Just let me know if you find anything. You got it. Farewell. Let me know if you find any sons of Prometheus in the Daunt. I'll keep scouting those rebel camps. Be careful. The old ones use holograms for everything. It let them experience a great many things. Holograms are illusions, though. I wonder if at some point they just couldn't tell what was real anymore. Maybe. They were intelligent, but that doesn't mean they were wise. All right. So, what can we learn with this focus? Oh, what's this? Okay. The focus I got from the Sons of Prometheus is encrypted. But with a little time, I should be able to hack it. There. Got it. Aloy, it seems you've recovered some property that doesn't belong to you. Well, you're not surprised to see me? You know, after you tried to sell me out to the Zeniths at the Hades Proving Lab? Hardly. When I realized the lone huntress had been raiding Regala's camps, I knew you had escaped. Subtlety is not your strong suit. From now on, I suggest you stay away from rebel operations. You're meddling with something you don't understand. What I understand, Silence, is that you've doled out machine overrides to dangerous people and stoked up a tribal civil war. Again. I'm gonna put a stop to it. Fine. Stubbornly blunder ahead as usual. Your efforts will only slow the inevitable. A warning, though. The sons of Prometheus are very tenacious, and they want your head. There's nothing I can do about that now. Oh, I'm scared. What will I do without your protection? You should be scared, Aloy. More than you realize. But I have better things to do than educate you. Best of luck flailing about in the fog of ignorance. Ow! One of these days, I'm gonna shut that arrogant mouth of his. Permanently. But first, I have to figure out why he's doing what he's doing. Oh, silence. Always... Always up to no good. And always taking jabs at us whenever he can. Alright, so what's this? I thought I had this before. Maybe not. What's this pendant? Beta's been... difficult to figure out. She's just so closed off. I get that the Zeniths were cruel to her. That the one called Tilda abandoned her, but... I can't get her out of her shell. I don't know. Maybe nothing can. I know Varl meant well bringing up Rost. I just... I guess it's hard to talk about. With everything going on, it feels easier to set those memories aside. At least for now. All right, in my stash. We are restocked. I don't believe there's anything else for us to do here for the time being. Oh, I guess there is. Errand again. Yeah, that's the stuff. Maybe he already went and got info. A long time no see. I guess so. Sons of Prometheus. You should know. Silence is involved with the Sons of Prometheus. He's the one who gave them the override tech to begin with. Why doesn't that surprise me? That's probably all part of some master plan, huh? At least we know we're good at wrecking those. Damn straight. Alright, I guess I was just telling him about silence. That makes sense. Farewell. I need to head out. Let us know if you need anything. Okay. 
Well, like I said, I was go oh, what's in the notebook? Data point. Oh, is that silence? Request approved? What's this? Uh Engineer Team Smoke. Your request for materials was received and approved. A shipment has been dispatched. We're short on couriers, so we'll leave it for you in the wilds. Don't delay on pickup. The stuff is valuable. Coordinates are embedded in this message. Use it well for the cause. The heck is this? I don't know when or why I got that, but okay. Strange. Uh, okay. Uh, machine catalog should have uh, the long leg and... We have the Stormbird now, there it is. Uh, so, quests. We were gonna do the Broken Locks. Porgoff has resumed operations now that the tunnel to No Man's Land is clear, but he may be in need of assistance again. That is what we're gonna do. Oh, I forgot it's called Camp Nowhere. Oh, see you later, Faith. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Yeah, so that's where I saw that quest. Come on. I got news for you, Rex. Now that everything's thoroughly soaked. Oh, so that's a completely different thing. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Alright, let's talk to Porgif first. Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah! My steel flame friend! Behold! Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. Just the one! It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. <laughs> well forged. That's it. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in Chain Scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I could ask her. Haha! <laughs> well forced and well connected. If I'm in the area, I will try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well. If you see Marsha, tell her, I still remember the flying keg. I bet Petra would know where I can what? find Marsha. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in Chain Scrape. Hey, it's been a while since we've seen Petra. Let's go say hey. Any other new quests that have popped up? I don't see any. Doesn't mean they're not there. Okay, here we go. Come for another round. 
Uh, why does she have some new stuff? Uh, okay, I'll ask. What brought you here? I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. And thanks to your handiwork, I got my hands full getting this place into shape. I guess you found the right place. Guess I did. Decree? The concession decree Olven wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? Big old pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would have put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would have meant that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olven had a stake in all those claims, it would have made him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would have become an Osram municipality, so he could have bought enough votes to call himself an elder man. <sighs> He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Almost got away with it, too. Marsa? Hey. I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chainscrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. I wonder if that's that thief girl I met really early. Who wanted the, uh, the lenses. Oh, he's gotta uh, go. See you around, Petra. Until next time. I wonder... Was her name Marsa? Let's see, where's where's this enemy? Ah, uh, no, it's sending me over there. To a metal flower. Okay. Well, let's head over. Where's my mount? Who's talking? Uh, I think it was that blacksmith dude. Let's go. Oh god. Hard to control it. Petra said Porgov's sister should be working around here. I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. But at least she'll get her lockbox back. Okay, it's not the thief. Marsa? Yeah? What's it to- Oh! The Nora maybe. How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother Porgov out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock too. Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh, so he's dead then? No, uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh, then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. A jewel, hm. surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. From my ma. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family. 
So much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgif read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> that lug. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgif got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgif still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure. But he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> Think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. All right, well, completed that errand. Three skill points for that. Interesting. And a new face paint, the Osram Wayfarer. All right, well... Let's see. I guess as a final thing tonight, I, I do want to get rid of this fog of war. Why don't we do that? I'm going to finish with that. Head over here. Actually, I'll head over here and go see if there's anything up there. Can't be having fog of war on my beautiful map. It's disgraceful. Can I check my total game progress? Sure, I can. It says 55.84%. So, over halfway, according to the game. Well, I don't believe I've been up here ever, which makes sense why it's in Fog of War, but sometimes Fog of War can be, in some games, can be a little stingy. But I think I have legitimately not been here. Twenty more streams in game finished? Oh, I doubt that. Oh, maybe. I just don't trust the percentages. I, I feel like they... Well, I don't know. If you look at the map and all the progress we've made, I just feel like recently, every stream I just make so little progress when you, uh, when you look at the overall map. Because they just like keep throwing all these side missions and things at me which seem like they're nothing and then they turn into big things. So yeah, I don't know. I think there's lots of game left. That that that's all I know. That's all I think. I feel like there's lots and lots of game left. This is true, though. I, I, you would think at some point they'll run out of out of things for me to do, <laughs> but it certainly hasn't slowed down yet. All right. Well, this was a fairly empty area. Oh, there's a waterfall back here, though. Have I been to that waterfall? I have not been to this waterfall. All right. I feel like there should be something here at a waterfall. Otherwise, this part of the map's like just completely unused. Oh, I'm leaving the play area, apparently. 
Nothing like me going up there, I guess. This is a cool area, though. Why is this unused? I like it. Oh, what's that? Weird. When is this, like, part of a quest later on? Because there's, like, why would those be there? I feel like there might be something here later on. Like, there's a freaking road, and there's some props they put up. I think this is something for later. This doesn't seem like nothing. Wouldn't be the first time I've discovered a place early. In fact, I do it all the time. Oh, yeah, there's definitely something here. Like, look at this. That's not a mistake. DLC starting place? I don't know, maybe. It feels like it's not here for nothing. In fact, I ended up at that camp back here. Oh, I never got this. Oh, right, I never got that black box because I couldn't get that black box. Well, I did want to go up here. Oh, God. I did want to go up here and finish off the Fog of War, and that is precisely what I'm going to do. Just got to find a way up. Remember this camp. Remember this camp well. Is there anything I can get through here? Oh, I don't know. Maybe if I do this. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I thought I had it. Hold on, hold on. Got this. Yeah! Jumping master. Oh, jeez. We are taking the long way. Alright. I need a way up. Dang it. Can I go up over here? Ugh, they really don't want me up there. But I've been up there before, so I know I can get up there. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't know if that's going to get me all the way, though. I don't know about this. No, I don't think it is. What a tease! What a tease! Yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna do it. Oh, could have potentially gone over there. What is this? I don't want to deal with you. I remember this place. Now well, they seem to have lost me. Oh, good. I finally found a way up. Maybe. Or can I still not quite get up? Oh, yes, I can. All right. Beautiful. Excited for California? It's your second favorite place after Vegas. If they've got a redwood for forest, I'll feel right at home. There was a redwood forest in Ghost of Tsushima. It actually threw me off when, when we saw it. I'm like, wait, there's redwoods in Japan? I didn't know that. Yeah, this is just a big, empty area. So strange. Horizon is usually a game that utilizes all of its space, but... I can't see them. Oh man, look at how they blend in. You just cannot see them. 
Oh well, I could tag him and hit him, but I don't care. That's one thing that I really enjoy about Horizon when compared against other games that are open world is it just does a really good job of using the space like outside of rare situations like this I don't feel like there's a lot of wide open useless areas in Horizon like they all just sort of have a purpose for something and I really enjoy that I think they do a, a fantastic job with that but yeah, this is this is strange for this game. This big open empty place. But anyways, we got rid of the fog of war, and that's what I wanted to do. So what the heck is that? Oh, I wonder why that symbol's different. Uh, well, just so I remember what the heck I wanted to do when I start up the next time, I'm gonna go back to Camp Nowhere, which for some reason is not showing that quest anymore. That's weird. Hope I didn't miss it for some reason. Oh, he still got the quest. Oh, it's a rumor person. All right, well. Let's get distracted one last time. If you're thinking of going south where Moreland's boys hang out, better think again. Two sisters drop by on their way there. One of them almost made the whole damn camp explode. I'm sure she didn't mean to. I hope. Oh, they're over there. Yeah, like this is... Well, if it isn't the most and they went on to Las Vegas. Maybe I should check in on them. See how they're doing. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. They they just keep giving you more things to do. Boomer bust. Della and Boomer, the awesome tinkers from Chainscrape, have made their way to the new settlement around Las Vegas. What brought them out west? And since I'm here, let's go ahead and talk to poor Guff. Is that... What's her name? No, I guess she didn't come. I already forgot her name. Marsa? Marsa, I think. Steel Flame! Did you get the box to my sister? I did. And she told me about the incident with the keg. So she remembers. Well, I guess that's something. Thanks for letting me know. Alright, yeah. I guess she didn't come. Or at least not yet. Alrighty, so... Uh, where's the campfire? Am I blind? Oh, right there. Yeah, I am blind. Let's go ahead and save. Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for tonight. For the upcoming week, uh, tomorrow night I'll be on Ghost of Tsushima. Tuesday will be GTA Online. Wednesday we'll be playing Vampire the Masquerade. Swan Song, that game's really picked up. I'm actually kind of uh, looking forward to playing it again. Uh, Thursday will be Death Stranding with Blueberry. Friday is Vampire the Masquerade. Saturday will be the final stream, hopefully, for Ghostwire, to Ghostwire Tokyo. And then uh, Sunday we'll be back here on Horizon. Thank you all for coming. I hope you had fun, and I will see you 